Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe InDesign, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I would like to do today, guys, is show you how to create the noise effect in Adobe InDesign. Really cool effect that you can apply to multiple uh, designs that you do. Now, there isn't a preset tool or preset option for us to use, but I'm going to show you a little trick where it allows you to create the noise effect in Adobe InDesign. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, bring this text that I've already built already. I'm just going to take that over here using my selection tool, and I'm just going to select that rectangle there and just remove it. Okay, so what we want to do now is come through and create our rectangle. So I'm just going to use our rectangle tool and cover the whole artboard here, like so. And I have a preset gradient that I already have uh, set up for myself uh, within my swatches. So if I go to my swatches, as you can see here, I have my gradient that I can actually change actually to be fair. So I'm just going to double click that swatch and I'm going to make this probably just a little bit lighter. Like so. Okay, wonderful. Now with this selected, what I now need to do is come to our effects and we need to use inner glow. Now what I want to do with our inner glow here is first of all, make sure that our source is to the center. Okay, we should invert it. I'm just going to bring down the size down to zero. Keep the choke at zero. And this is where we come through now and create our noise effect. So we're going to use our noise and I'm just going to start bringing that up like so. And as you can see, the noise effect is coming through and I'm just going to lower the opacity here just a little bit. There we go. And press, maybe bring the noise up just a little bit more. Let's press OK there. Wonderful. Now what I want to do is get our uh, textures aligned properly. So I'm just going to select it with our selection tool and use our alignment option here and make sure that we're aligned to the page. Just going to come through here like that. And what we need to do is bring that to the front. So I'm just going to right click and we're going to go to a range, bring to front. There we are. What I'll do is make, just want to make sure, double make sure that that's aligned correctly. So I'm just going to go type, create the outlines there. And there we are. Perfect. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create that noise effect in Adobe InDesign. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluesclidegraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.